Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to my channel, D vs. Debt. This is D, and it's Money Monday, which means it's time to stuff my cash envelopes. But for this week, it's going to be the world's shortest cash stuffing because I'm pretty much going scorched earth with the unexpected vet bills that popped up. I'm going to be cutting my budgets in half, so I'm going to be giving myself half the money to work with. So normally I stuff $100 in cash in my envelopes every week. This week I'm only gonna do 50, and same thing for my budgeted credit card spending. Instead of the usual 100 a week, I'm gonna do 50. So let's go ahead and stuff my envelopes. And then after this, as you can see, I'm gonna be doing a tag Q&A in which Shalise from the Mommy Trader tagged me. So you'll see what my answers are for that. I'm also going to be showing off my card that came in for the holiday gift card exchange and then I'm going to stuff my stuff mess stocking for the last time for this round. There's a total of four rounds and I'll open up the giveaway so that you all can enter and we'll see who in a few days the lucky winner will be. So let's go ahead and get cracking with my cash envelopes. So this time I'm only stuffing 50 again half the money I usually do, so 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and the other 50 is gonna go to the vet bills. I'm gonna have to do this for the rest of the month, so that means that my cash stuffing Mondays are gonna be kinda lame, y'all, so I apologize for that. All right, so the only ones that are getting money this time are three different envelopes so for giving i'm gonna give i'm gonna put 20 into there because it's the holiday season and there's always people in need and opportunities to give so 20 dollars is going to go into that no money is going into my yum envelope because again i'm cutting corners for the rest of the month but also natasha from this little budget sent me that gift card for Burger King so it's the perfect timing I'm gonna use the gift card and that way I don't have to stuff any money into my yum envelope so thank you thank you so much Natasha it's like you were psychic and knew <laughs> what was gonna happen so thank you for getting me out of that jam happy depleted it this week and so I'm gonna leave it empty I'm gonna use another envelope instead of stuffing my happy envelope so I'll talk about it when I get there no money for shopping, no money for handyman because he's re reached the $50 amount that makes me happy for his envelope. So we're just going to leave that be. Water is going to get the usual 10. So there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And this brings it up to a total of, wow, I have a ton of ones in here. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that means that this envelope is half stuffed because I shoot for 40 a month for my water bill. And so halfway there, living on a prayer like John Bon Jovi. <laughs> and this needs to go back to the bank. So I pulled out extra money from my envelopes. That's gonna get deposited so that I can go to pay the bills. Dang Murphy's Law has been in full effect for December for me. So all these major unexpected bills popped up. All right, so hustle, nothing there. Home, nothing there. Gifts, it's gonna get its final 20. The final countdown. <laughs> so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300 dollars. I met my goal, hurrah, hurrah, for 300 dollars for Christmas gifts. So now that this envelope is stuffed, that means I can stop stuffing it. And that means I gotta get cracking on buying gifts because now that I have the money, now I can run and buy things. Um, so that's good to go. And unbudgeted, totally wiped it out. Again, those vet bills are gonna get you. So this is gone, even though I was so close to meeting my goal for stuffing this one. Um, and so now in addition to unbudgeted, I'm also gonna make a pet envelope because you know, just expenses keep popping up for them. I have a geriatric cat. I have a corgi with a million health issues. So yeah, I need a, a pet envelope for sure. So that is the end of the stuffing because for the rest of the envelopes, 
I'm not gonna put anything in. I'm actually gonna be taking stuff out. So for community, I have money still in there. And so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this because on Wednesday, Gina from Gina Renee RN Budgets is gonna be in town and we're gonna go out and have dinner. So yay, I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna use the money for that because she's a member of the community that I love dearly. So excited to be able to meet her and to hang out in person. We've Zoomed before, but now we actually like get to see each other face to face. So YouTube, nothing's going in there because the money for my giveaways is already stuffed in, so I'm not touching it. And then I'm just gonna show you, and then it's gonna go into my deposit. So this is how much, oh, actually no, I didn't update this number. So this is how much I made in the month of December for my Etsy shop. So it was 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 61, 62, $162 got deposited into my bank account from Etsy for everything that I sold for the month of November. So thank you so much to everybody. And then in here is what I had made for the month of October, so 40. So all together then, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, and two dollars. So these are gonna go into my deposit envelope and that is gonna get used to pay the vet bills so thank you everyone who purchased my printables because without knowing it you guys helped my cat hopefully make a full recovery so yay thank you so much for helping my little fur baby out he is 13 so he's my little old man okay so for the next part i'm going to be showing you this gorgeous card that came in from brit a plan your one life and it's so like her this rem reminds me so much of her because she's very you know like classy and just you know this is so nice just like her so thank you so much Brit. i'll be sending you your card quickly this week and um i'm just so excited and i'm weird about the fact that it matches everything on here so it's like ooh, how pretty so <laughs> things like that make me happy weird little details like that make me happy for the next part right meow i'm gonna start with the tag that shalice at the mommy trader tagged me in so she came up with a set of questions and i want to go ahead and answer them and then open up the tag for the next round of people to do them so my majestic unicorn little planner is where the questions that shalice came up with are listed so question number one what is your christmas budget Y'all actually just saw it. It was $300. So as of today, as of the stuffing, I met my goal of spending $300 on Christmas. Question number two, how many people do you shop for? So this varies year by year. So for this year, it's just my mom, my dad, my brother's girlfriend, because that's who I drew in the Secret Santa exchange and my niece's little boy, so my great nephew. And um, depending, there might be a fifth person, but that's about it. So some years we all exchange gifts, some years it's just me and my parents, it really all depends. Some years I have coworkers, you know, it really all ranges. So this year I'm on sabbatical, so that means no coworkers to shop for. So again, for this year, it's a really small group, which is good because I have a really small budget. Number three, what is your favorite holiday treat? So I'm gonna insert a picture of it. So if you're not familiar with what buñuelos are, they're so delicious. So it's basically like, um, like a really thin Indian fry bread almost, like crispy though. And it is soaked in this syrup that is like, um, clove and brown sugar and just amazingness it's really sticky and it's really delicious and i could probably eat my body weight in it and i weigh a lot so that's a lot of buñuelos so if you're mexican you know exactly what i'm talking about if you're not you need to experience it because these things are so yummy number four what's the most you've ever spent on a gift i've always been really frugal so i honestly don't know because i tend to not spend a lot so I would say probably the most I've spent on a gift is 100, maybe 200, but I honestly don't know because I'm not lavish. I'm not into big expensive gifts. So that is 
Kind of a hard question for me to answer, but that's my best guesstimate. Number five, what is your favorite Christmas dish? So again, the Mexican in me is gonna come shining through and I'm all about the tamales. So I'm gonna insert a picture of that if you're not familiar. In fact, last year at work, we had to do an ugly shirt contest. And so mine said, tis the season for tamales. And then I made antlers for my head, but instead of antlers, there were forks. So <laughs> yeah, I'm all about the tamales for Christmas. It's tamale season and I love every bit of it. And I gained so much weight as a result. Number six, what ways do you pay it forward during the holidays? So my family likes to give, we used to do this cool thing because we live on the Mexican border. We used to go across because literally there are people that live in like tin and cardboard sheds. And then a mile down the road from them, there's people in million dollar mansions. It's really depressing. So we used to go there with food and toys and blankets and clothes and all kinds of stuff. And I just couldn't handle it. I, I cry, that stuff just breaks my heart. So I stopped going, I would donate, but I couldn't handle going. So then also my brother organizes like a gift, gift donation for the orphanage in Mexico. So they organize a toy drive and they go and they cook food for the kids and play basketball and all that kind of stuff. So I donate to that. At school, they always have a jacket and toy drive and shoe drive for kids in need. So I donate to that. So there's different ways that we, you know, in our family and at school and all that stuff that we all come together and help each other out for the holidays. Number seven, my favorite holiday movie is a Christmas story. So the feel good Christmas movies actually make me feel bad. So <laughs> I like movies that show dysfunctional families and just are real. So that's why I like a Christmas story. And it just reminded me, I had the little leg lamp as a little ornament. It was probably like literally this big, just a few inches tall. So I gotta dig that up and maybe put it here somewhere <laughs> because that was like one of my prized possessions. It got buried somewhere in my closet. So I gotta dig it back up. Question number eight. What's one thing you want for Christmas? Right meow? I can't think of anything other than cash. <laughs> Cause I got bills to pay, so that sounds awful, but really what do I want for Christmas? There's nothing material that I really want. I guess just, you know, happiness and love and affection and all that stuff and, <laughs> and some money, I guess. That's such a horrible answer, but that's the honest truth for question number eight. Number nine, which is best, Secret Santa or Dirty Santa? I'd honestly never heard the term Dirty Santa, but I was gonna pick it just because I like the name Dirty Santa. But Shalise explained it and it's a white elephant and that's actually what I like, our white elephant exchanges because I have so much fun with that. So December 2019, before everything shut down and the world went crazy, I participated in a white elephant gift exchange and my present was a giant thing of toilet paper and it was so funny because just a few months later you know all the craziness that happened with toilet paper in this world so who would have known that my gift ended up being like something that would be such a hot commodity so that's number nine And number 10, what one money tip do you want to share with the budget community this holiday season? Mine would be, I guess two, don't be afraid to plan ahead. Save for Christmas all year, little by little. Like you saw me every week, put aside 20 bucks. Maybe do 10 bucks a week, maybe do, you know, five, whatever it is that works, but just think ahead. That way it doesn't hit you out of the blue and overwhelm you. My other tip, is to not be afraid of handmade gifts. I love handmade gifts. I wish that more people would be into that because I think that shows so much love and time and thought. For me, a handmade present is so much more special than something you just go and grab at a store. So that would be my tip. So now I'm tagging you, tag your it. Right now, if you want to participate in this tag, Go ahead and answer these questions. Let me know that you answered it so that I can go watch your video. Because I don't know who celebrates Christmas, then I don't want to tag someone and make them feel forced to if they don't. So if you want to tag yourself, I would love to go watch your video and listen to your answers. So that was it for Shalise's tag at the Mommy Trader. So thank you so much, Shalise, for tagging me as part of this. Those were some fun questions. 
And now it is time to talk about stuff mist. So the very last thing that I'm gonna be stuffing into stocking number one, and I'm about to open up the giveaway right meow, is four free printables. So I'll be sending you a code that only works for my Etsy shop. And because all my printables are $1.25, you're gonna get a $5 code, which means you get to pick the four free printables that you want from my shop. So again, here's a run through of the gifts that a winner number one's gonna get. And I'm doing one for every week for December. So here's a set of five clear cash envelopes from Saving by Seymour. In the video where I show these, in my first Stuff Miss video, I included the link to their shop in case you're interested in buying one for yourself. The second gift right here is this $5 inside this gift card holder that I made. So that's gift number two. The third set of gifts are these stickers, these Paris themed stickers. So if you're a sticker holic like me, hopefully they'll make you very, very happy. And the fourth present that you're getting is going to be the, the $5 gift certificate to my Etsy shop for four free printables. So I am officially opening this up. So to participate in my Stuff Mess giveaway, you got to meet these requirements. Remember, if you don't, you get disqualified. So first of all, you got to be publicly subscribed to my channel. So what I do is I click on your little avatar and it says, you know, if you're publicly subscribed or not and how many times you've commented on my videos. So if you're not, then that would disqualify you. Number two, you got to follow me on Instagram. So there's my handle D versus debt. And the reason for this is that that way I can communicate with you. If you do win, I'll be messaging you and asking you for your address or I'm going to mail all this stuff to you. Number three, you're going to leave a comment with the mystery word I used in this video. So I used a very out of place word. <laughs> and that's actually something that Chrissy from the mom life is doing. So if you notice, I was saying a strange word. If you were paying attention and there was one word that was just completely out of place, that's the word that you're going to put as a hashtag in your comment in this video to enter the giveaway. So here's a major clue. It was a four letter word, not that kind of four letter word, <laughs> but a word that has four letters in it. So if you need to go back and look, I left visual clues as well. Um, so there it is. And this giveaway is going to close on Wednesday, December 8th. So it's only open for a couple of days and then I'll be announcing it on the 9th who the winner is. I'll be reaching out to them through Instagram to let them know they won and to ask for their mailing address so that all these goodies can get mailed out to them. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.